Hey guys, what's up? This is Max. In Dragon Ball Super, the Saiyan race has undoubtedly reached a new level, the divine level. Yes guys, we already started Dragon Ball Super with the premise that Saiyans can transform into gods, which was quite shocking since we hadn't had any clue about it in Dragon Ball Z. But one doubt remains in our mind why the Saiyans can use Divine Key and achieve Divine Transformations. I have a theory about it, and I'll tell you about it here in this video. Let's talk about one of the biggest mysteries of Dragon Ball Super. So stay connected on the channel, and let's go to the video. In Dragon Ball Z, when the fights started to get really fast and eyes couldn't follow, the characters started to follow the fights using the Kai. The ability to sense Kai in Dragon Ball was something well used mainly by Earth Warriors at the beginning of the series, and that was a big advantage of these warriors, because they can measure the power and know the location of people without needing a tracker, which was normally used by Frieza's soldiers. This skill is seen as something simple nowadays, but in the days of the Saiyan Saga and Namek Saga, it was a very different skill and it even gave certain advantages in combat, and Vegeta himself was very interested in this technique. But when the movie Battle of the Gods arrived, we discovered that Goku was not able to feel Beerus' Kai. Not only Goku, but all mortals in Universe 7 could not feel Beerus' power. That is the reason for all warriors on Earth started attacking him without thinking twice, and as a consequence, they took a beating. If they could feel Beerus' Kai, they wouldn't even be able to move a finger in fear. It turns out that Divine Kai is very different from Mortal Kai, and because of this, mortals are not normally able to sense it. In Dragon Ball, the divine hierarchy and divine beings are very well defined and have very specific roles in the universes. There are the King Kais, who are minor gods responsible for watching over the cardinal points of the universe. There are the Supreme Kais, the gods of creation, who are responsible for creating things in the universe. And there are the gods of destruction, who destroy things in the universe. And we have another very important deity, the angels, who serve as assistants and tutors to the destroyers. The Grand Priest, the superior angel, serves as a kind of assistant and also advisor to Zeno. And and we have Zeno himself, who is the supreme deity of the 12 universes and the Omni King. So as we can see, the divine classes are very well defined in Dragon Ball, and they all have their role in the order of things. But if the gods of the Dragon Ball series are really so well defined and have such specific roles in the universes, why can Saiyans have Divine Kai? Why can they have divine transformations like Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue? For them to get these god forms, they would have to be gods or have a descent from gods, right? Well, according to Shenron, any Saiyan with a pure heart can become a deity if he goes through a ritual with five other Saiyans. That is, Divine Kai is present within the Saiyan race. It's proven that any Saiyan with a pure heart can become a deity with a few minutes ritual. Five Saiyans with righteous hearts must join hands and instill their inner light into another. With his friend's energy flowing through him, this Saiyan shall then take the form of a Super Saiyan God. When I say any Saiyan, I really mean any Saiyan. Even an unborn baby can perform this ritual, meaning it has nothing to do with training, Kai control, or fighting power. Divine Kai has been present in the Saiyan race since before birth, and the only race we know of that has divine transformation for now is this one. We don't know about the origin of the Saiyans, the only thing we know is that every Saiyan can turn into Uzaru if they look at the moon and have a tail. But in the last movie, we saw that the Ozaru is not just a transformation that you become a giant full of fur. It's a form that is already inside the Saiyans. And even if he doesn't have a tail and hasn't even looked at the full moon, he will be able to use Uzaru's power like Brawly in the last movie. I'm not sure. It looks as though he's managed to transform somehow and take on the incredible strength the Saiyans have whenever they become great apes. Only he's remaining in his human form retaining his speed and agility. The Saiyan is already born with the Uzaru power and the divine power in their body. And if they learn to control one of these two, they will receive an absurd fighting power, as was the case with Brawly and Goku and Vegeta with their new transformations. As we've seen, Vegeta didn't even need a ritual to become a Super Saiyan God. Only with training, he managed to reach this divine form. That is, Divine Kai is already inside each Saiyan. Unlike all other races in all universes, Saiyans have Divine Kai within them. And that could also be why Whis decided to train Goku and Vegeta. We may not even know the origin of the Saiyans, but we do know that Goku was inspired by a Chinese legend of the monkey god. If we make a game of words, we can come to an interesting conclusion. What if in fact all Saiyans are descendants of a monkey god called Uzaru? In the past, 
there was a god called Uzaru who, being a deity, we can deduce that he did have divine Kai. And over the years, his power has passed on to his children, grandchildren, and so on, until he reached the present day. Okay Max, but what kind of deity would Uzaru be? Well, looking at all the types of gods that exist in the multiverse, he certainly wouldn't be the supreme god like Zeno. Obviously, it would not be an angel because it would not belong to the race of angels. And it couldn't be a King Kai or a Supreme Kai either, because these two races are born from a sacred tree called Kaiju Tree. That is, there are classes of gods that are already born in a specific race. So what kind of god could Ozaru fit into? That's right, the gods of destruction. It turns out, unlike King Kais and Supreme Kais who are born destined to be deities, the gods of destruction are mortals, chosen by an angel or someone superior to become gods. One proof that destroyers were mortals turned gods is that they are all from different races, except for Beerus and Champa, who are brothers and obviously from the same race. So what if we theorize that a god named Uzaru from many years ago, and so they all have divine Kai from birth? Doesn't it make sense? And if that's the case, the only divine class I imagine Uzaru could have belonged to would be the gods of destruction, as that would be the only class a mortal could fit into. Therefore, it is possible that the Saiyans may actually be descended from an ancient god of destruction older than Beerus, called Uzaru, and it is because of this descent that they possess Divine Kai. Pretty crazy, isn't it? But not impossible. What do you think about this theory? Do you think it's possible or not? Leave your opinions here in the comments, and if you have your own theories about why Saiyans have Divine Kai, leave them here too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget your like and subscribe to the channel so we become 10,000 subscribers. Until next time, bye bye.